I didn't figure I would talk about it for very long before you knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, I just this, was, this is crazy. It's a God wink as well because God through Phil connected us. And the last thing I thought I would be talking about this afternoon in Spokane, Washington was masturbation and porn yes. with an expert. And I can't wait to call my wife tomorrow and say, honey, I did want a podcast. And she'll say, okay, we have ball players you talk to. And I go, ha ha. <laughs> it makes us a better husband. It makes us a better father. It makes oh, us a better does. friend. It gives us the, another opportunity to be the best version of ourself. Oh, my yes. wife, my wife knows my warts. Two years ago, my word grow. I didn't want to let the old man in. I found different ways to get the excitement that I used to seek through all the other ways. And isn't it great to really find out what the definition of manhood is? Because oh, yeah. I, I, you know, I had other people's, I had my own, I had, you know, who I, guys I thought I was cool. And really, I got, I've gotten to a better place as a manager, but I can remember early in my managerial career in Pittsburgh, we brought in Joe Ehrman, who wrote the book Inside Out Coaching, which talks about masculinity and toxic masculinity. And it was the first time he peeled back some players for me that I was like, oh my, I did that. No, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. happened to me, or yeah. maybe some actions that I had, you know, could have put another player or coach in an in awkward or difficult position. And then just growing up to be a man, what yes. it means biblically to be a man, what it b means biblically to be the husband, what it means biblically to be the, the, the father and, and the friend.